a pond. I wonder what lives here. I can see frogs, birds, and bugs. I wonder what's living down inside the pond. Let's take a look under the water and find out. Wow, I've never seen the bottom of a pond before. There's so many amazing plants and animals. Let's make our own pond. Great idea. Let's start our pond by adding rocks. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to the pond. Great! Now there's lots of places for the animals to live and hide. Let's keep going! Underwater plants. Floating plants. Oh, now we get to pick a plant to add. You can always use my book to hear more information. When you are ready to place things in the pond, tap the book again to close it. These, uh, these underwater drag something into the pond. Underwater plants will help feed lots of pond animals. I wonder who will eat them. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals to the pond. Ponds need lots of different plants and animals to stay healthy. Let's pick one and see what happens. Worm, snail. Snails have shells to protect them. I wonder what other creatures have shells. I notice that each time we chew something, the pond changes. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different creatures live here, in the middle of the pond. I wonder what they are and what they eat. Mayfly larva, tadpole. I wonder how many tadpoles are here. Count how many you see. We could take a closer look at the plants and animals in the pond with this magnifying glass. I noticed that the rocks look green up close. That's because they're covered in algae. What do you notice? It looks like tadpole bodies are just a head and tail. I wonder how the body parts will change as it grows into a frog. Mayfly larva, mosquito larva. Mayflies have three tails that make them easy to spot. How many mayflies do you see? Mosquito larva, caddisfly larva. I wonder what the caddisfly will look like when the larva grows up.
This larva made a shell out of little hard pieces of material from the pond. This frog is the grown-up of the tap will be added. Now we're near the pond's surface. I wonder how the animals will be different here. Northern Pike, Red Spotted Newt. Whoa, look at the size of them. Red Spotted Newt, Pumpkin Seed Sunfish. These little fish have lots of fun colors. What do you notice about the colors of the animals in the pond? Red Spotted Newt. Spotted bass. Newts have interesting features that make them look a little like a frog and a little like a lizard. This mayfly is the grown up of the larva we added. Reach the top. I wonder what new things we'll discover. Heron, Kingfisher. The great blue heron mostly eats small fish. Mallard duck, painted turtle. Mallard ducks like the pond for bathing and finding food. Fisher, painted turtle. The painted turtle shell protects it. Can you describe the pattern on its shell? Keep exploring. 
Or you can make another pond. Do you want to start a new pond? <laughs>